What's up, home team? This is the Data Lord, and we're talking today about Grin. Grin is a, a new privacy coin that's releasing today, January 15th. And it, it's, uh, it's going to be open for mining uh, starting this afternoon. So I wanted to let everyone have a little bit of a heads up if they want to jump on this, get their nodes set up, and join the Grin community. So uh, Grin is on Mimblewimble, just like beam is also on mimblewimble so it's uh really focused on on privacy and let's go ahead and read a little bit about grin uh, what's grin electronic transactions for all without censorship or restrictions grin empowers anyone to transact or save modern money without the fear of external control or oppression grin is designed for the decades to come not just tomorrow Grin wants to be usable by everyone, regardless of borders, culture, skills, or access. It's private. Grin has no amounts and no addresses. Transactions can be trivially aggregated to hide where a new to hide where a newly created transaction comes from. It gets relayed privately, a random walk, among peers before it is publicly announced. It is scalable. Mimblewimble leverages cryptography to allow most of the file transaction data to be removed. This guarantees Grin won't crumble under its own weight in the long term. And it's open. Grin is developed openly by developers distributed all over the world. It is not controlled by any company, foundation, or individual. The coin distribution is designed to be as fair, but not gratis, as is known to be possible. So it, it really wants to be a fair and open platform. And I think that there's a lot of promising ideas here. And uh, there's a big community that's also behind it. So uh, let's go ahead and get our node started. So I am here in Linux Ubuntu. Okay. And what we're going to do is go to the GitHub here. And we need to click here, go to releases, and grab uh, the most recent release. So we'll go ahead and download that. And for this tutorial, we're going to be moving this to the desktop directory. So if you click here, uh, I'm going to right click on that file, and we're going to move it to the desktop. So now that we have this moved to our desktop, we see the files there. Let's go ahead and click on search and yeah, type in terminal and let's go ahead and open up terminal. Now we need to do is hit CD, that's change directory and then desktop. And this is case sensitive. I'll show you if you do uh, lowercase desktop, it says no such directory. That's simply because it is uh, case sensitive. So, see there. Now, if we hit dir, that's a directory, it'll show you all the files that are in that directory. So, we see there our grin uh, zip file is. So, we're going to go ahead and copy this little bit I have over here. Um, and paste it. And what that's going to do is export and uh, rather extract the files from the zip on this desktop right here. Um, you can also grab uh, those files right here on run a grin node. We can just copy this here. Same thing. So now that we have grin right here in our terminal window, we can type in grin because we're at the desktop directory, this grin file, if we show you, uh, hit dir, we can see grin, and then we also see that zip file. So if we just type in grin, it'll try to launch the file that's at that uh, directory that we uh, had extracted. But currently the main net's not uh, live, so it does give us the ability to do a flu net, which is their test net. So we can type in grin space and then do dash dash for the switch and type in flunet. And this is going to load up the uh, example of, of what the node software will look like. 
and this will just download the whole blockchain and uh, you can see on the basic status it's downloading that blockchain we can see what the you know hashes with chain height now under peers and sync uh, that's cool and then for mining servers very cool so <clears throat> Currently, we're doing this. We're running the flu net, uh, and this here lets us configure our Grin node. By default, your Grin node keeps all of its configuration files and data in tilde slash dot Grin directory under your user home. So let's go ahead and take a look at that under our user home here. It has a Grin folder. Okay. So right there, that is our config. If we open that, let's see if we can just open it in uh, <laughs> there. That's what we'll do. We'll go to open, we'll go to uh, let's see, there we go. Hmm, interesting. So I think we just need to open it in a text editor. So just plain text editor here. It's trying to load it. <clears throat> You know, let's check out Grin Wallet. <clears throat> That's cool. So the wallet is actually part of this node software. It looks like in terminal we can uh, at the desktop type in Grin space wallet space unit it, it, or it, in it, which is initialized, and that will uh, launch. So let's try that out. Let's go to terminal. And CD desktop, if you remember that. And let's try grin while it initiates. Mainnet's not ready. So we have to do this uh, grin dash dash flu net. Now, mind you that this uh, grin space wallet space init is how you get your. Uh, your wallet address uh, once the mainnet is live. And then that gives you your seeds. You would write these seeds down um, because this is a, a test. I'm simply gonna, you know, Screenshot it and then on my uh, host computer, we'll okay. So I, I have it in Microsoft Paint here in my <clears throat> the computer I, I'm uh, connected to this with. Now, now that I have that, it says, please back up these words in non-digital formats. 
uh, but the command initiate uh, was completed successfully. Okay, and then that's cool. So your wallet seed is located here. Your wallet's configuration is located in Grin Wallet. So if we go to here, Grin. Okay, interesting. So I wonder if we just do uh, grin help wallet. I uh, once flew net. Okay, lists. So we do account. Yeah, this is cool. So uh, we're going to go into So your wallet must always have a running grid node to talk to. Node should be fully synced. We currently recommend that you run your own node. By default, the wallet attempts to communicate with a node on your local machine. That's cool. So I'm going to do grin dash uh, dash dash flu net. And then we'll do wallet dash R. Oh, it wants a value. <clears throat> so initializes the new wallet seed file and database. List wallet account. So I guess we just go do account, huh? So wallet account. Very cool. So how do we get so grin wallet info? <clears throat> Very cool. So I guess I'm interested to know <clears throat> how you get a public key. I use Grin Wallet. <clears throat> so Grin Wallet init, we did that part. Uh, you will then be prompted to enter a password. This password will be used to encrypt your master seed file, and you'll need to provide this password every time you want to use your wallet. Once this is done, your wallet seed file will be generated, and you'll be given a 24-word recovery phrase, which you can use to recover your wallet if you lose your seed file or forget the password. Write this phrase down using a paper and pen and keep it somewhere safe, since anyone who has this phrase can control all of your funds. Um, your seed file is located at .grin slash wallet data slash wallet dot seed. Be sure to back this up somewhere safe. Oh, 
How interesting. So I, I wonder if because it's flu net, um, it's not initializing things like you would expect to see. So connecting to a node, uh, your wallet must always be running a grin node to talk to. The node should be fully synced. That's cool. Uh, checking your wallet balance. You can send Grin via a file. That's very cool. So you can send and receive transactions via a file or via a wallet listener. Running a wallet listener is considered an advanced operation and should only be done by those who have infrastructure to support it and are able to deal with NAT firewall issues and denial of service concerns. All right. So <clears throat> if we go back over to our our grin, let's see where is that. There we go. So it says that it's running, connected to peers, peers in sync. Very interesting. Well, uh, this is just a quick look. I, I will uh, additionally make another video here shortly uh, once the mainnet is live and show you what that looks like for me. And anyone else who's having trouble can uh, follow those instructions there. But uh, for right now, that's what we have with Grin. And again, I'm the Data Lord. Thanks for joining. And uh, stay tuned. We'll we'll have a, a dedicated video that goes a little bit more in depth uh, once this mainnet is live later on today. So uh, stay tuned for that. And I'll talk to you next time.